Hello, hello, I finally got on here. This is my first time going live on this phone though, so if you can't hear me, let me know. Try to get logged in on this tablet so that I can see comments. All right, so let me know if you can or can't hear me. I gotta figure out how to do this so that you can actually see what I'm doing. I have my camera and it's like a wider angle, so you could actually see my workspace here. I guess this isn't terrible. Anyway. Matt is still super sticky, so I have to flip it over and that way. Otherwise, if I peel this up, it'll be all curly. I peel it up the other way. Can everybody hear me okay? light grip mat too. I can't imagine having the, like the heavy duty one. So I'm using a uh, pre-prepped 32 ounce lump from the Steel Magnolia. I like the pre-prep because it's already white. I don't have to do anything to it. Just pull it out of the box. The less I have to do before working on a tumbler, the better. I like to just jump right in. I haven't done a live in so long, forever. Hey, Tasia. Hopefully I'm not butchering your name. What are you working on in your shop? I don't want this on here yet. I want to put my template on here first. I'm doing it backwards. See, I can't focus on what I'm doing while I'm trying to talk too, but I haven't gotten to hang out with people while I craft in forever. Anyway, so I cut, the template is already um, cut out for the tumbler. It's for the 32 ounce plump. So it has a border all the way around and I'm just going to cut. Let me see the straight edge. I'm just going to use my scissors to cut the edge off. Oh, you're working on some pins? I've got a bunch of pins like literally right in front of me that I need to finish. They're staring at me. They're glittered. I just need to, they're glittered and they're sealed. I just need to epoxy them. They're going to be Crayons. My husband said that this was a torture device. Yeah, 
and I even, I epoxied a cup today. I'm feeling so productive. Trying to cut right exactly on the line so I don't have any leftover weird spots or if I cut too much off then the measurement won't be right. machine did something weird on the edge and my thing didn't go all the way to the border. So that's cool. So I'm doing the um, black flame tumbler and I made the template yesterday. So I'm going to try it out today and I'm hoping that I picked out colors. Like I want it to be dark, you know? But hopefully this stuff isn't like too close in color. I'm going to do the whole thing, I think, in Morticia's Rose. It's like that pretty color shift with the like teal and oh, it's like green and not really pink, but like a fuchsia maybe. I don't know. It's pretty. And then I think for the main drip part, I'm going to do Sparkle. And so there's also like a border around it to make it look kind of 3D. And I think I'm going to do blurple. And I'm hoping that these will like stand out enough against each other. We'll see. And then for the label, I'm going to do like for the background, I'm going to do vanilla wafer. I know it's yellow, but when it's on um, a white base with like just one coat, it's very kind of like an off white-ish color it's not really yellow so I thought that would look like a nice vintagey kind of label and Stonehenge for the letters that's the plan anyway so first I got to get it on the tumbler so and I like to put the cup upside down so that I make sure I line the top of the template all the way to the top of the tumbler. And I just kind of use my table as the straight edge. And right now I just want to make sure it all lines up before I start doing anything else. Because it is a seamless template. trying it this way where I just cut like a little bit off this backing. Oh, that went way off. Not what I wanted to do. Where I just like cut a strip off of the back and use this as like my little tape. It's tricky because you don't want to cut through all the layers. You just want to cut through the backing. All right. So that will be my strip that actually gets taped to the tumbler first when I'm trying to line it up. I took it off just to make sure it came off all the way. If 
you do decide to do this template, um, it has some very intricate pieces. So just keep an eye on it when it's cutting. Um, so I just kept an eye on it and if I saw a little piece come off, I just kind of took it and set it aside. There were only like two, two or three tiny pieces that I just set to the side and then stuck them back on whenever it was done. And then like some of the little areas, cause I have my machine cut twice. It kind of lifts in some of the spots, but once it was done, I just went back and pressed it all back down. It was fine. it in place and try my best not to shift it while I take off that little strip that I cut. I got a little bit off here and then I'm just gonna press it down and it does go over the edge a tiny bit. Then I'm just gonna work my way down. So now it's all taped straight and then I can just start pulling off the rest of the backing. What's everyone else up to today on this lovely Tuesday afternoon? Is it afternoon? curvy tweezers to get the rest of my backing started and then I'm just going to kind of roll the cup toward me and flatten out any bubbles along the way if I can get it Just rolling and smoothing. rub it too much because I have all those tiny pieces I don't want to accidentally pull them off. Good thing I just pulled that one off. Is anybody working on Christmas stuff yet? Like I feel like well, it's not really early to be working on fall and Halloween stuff. But I feel like it's early for me. Because it's still so hot here. Hot and humid. So... 
it's all on there and so I'm just going around and making sure it's all laying flat. in my baby pieces. These tiny letters are going to be fun. Alright, so I've got darkest to light, but like all of my colors are dark except for this one, so it doesn't really matter, I don't think, which one I do first. I just know I'm going to do vanilla wafer last. Oh, I made it. Don't be scared of trying. It definitely takes practice, but I mean, even if you mess up putting it on, you can just kind of Fill it up and reset. No need to be scared. I do have a couple bubbles in here to smooth out. Okay, I'm gonna start glittering. I guess I'll just start with the main candle, the Morticia's Rose color. I don't think I've used this on a tumbler yet. I've used it on, um, like in lots of different molds, but not a tumbler. Oh, I have to figure out what color I want to do this. Um, Oh no, I already figured that out. Never mind. This one doesn't take a lot of colors. It's only five colors. Normally I'm doing one of these templates and I'm using like 10 or 15 colors. All right, so this is gonna be like the majority of the thing. This one's not gonna take very long, I don't think. I'm peeling slow and like tearing it if I need to, just so I'm not, I don't know, messing up anything. The 
just because it's a lot to peel off at once. That little piece doesn't want to stay. get to the seam it's a little tricky because there is a tiny bit of an overlap just so there's no leftover space I don't know if you can see the adhesive overlapping right there but it goes like all the way around Just being careful to get all of the backing out from under, underneath that little overlap. Which, as I was saying that, I got a teeny tiny little piece stuck in there. So sticky, I love it. This is what mm. almost forgot about these little pieces. I think I have all of the main candle area pulled. So I left the drips and the outlines and the label. Now it's Morticia's rose time. is so pretty. I have a big bottle of this somewhere, but I need to get my glitter life together because I can't find anything right now. It's like all of my glitter is just sitting, not all of it, it's, most of it is on a shelf and then the rest of it that doesn't fit on my shelf right now is sitting on a six foot table on the other side of the room. It's just sitting there, so, you know, no rhyme or reason. I've started to organize it several times and like I just can't even get started. Hey, Kimberly. We're at the chiropractor. I have never been to a chiropractor before. People kept recommending it to me whenever I threw my back out um, a few years ago. And I don't know, I was scared. I've heard that it's painful or that it can be painful. went to the good old doctor 
and then I had physical therapy. It was, it was a whole, whole good time. Yep, this was a good choice in color. I'm glad that I picked this. And like really good coverage on the first round too. shift I'll um do some spray adhesive on the bottom when I'm done and uh glitter it the same color yes love it like normally after I glitter with these uh tacky tape tumblers I brush it off and go back around but I really don't think I need to do another coat I don't know I'll see once I brush Brush off this excess. Ooh, my brush is very staticky. Yeah, I really don't think I need I missed a spot. I think I need to go back around. What is that? I don't know. I'm going to go back around anyway. Just in case I regret it later. Hey, Sarah. So you had a good experience with the chiropractor like what did you go to the chiropractor for I think that has uh anyway that's a very important part of the process too I feel like I was worried they would hurt my back even more Like I had to do, I had to get an MRI, take like steroids and good painkillers. And then it was, I had a herniated disc. So I don't know if a chiropractor would actually uh, help with that. You twisted your lower back and your hips were out of alignment. So they put your hips do they fix your hips? How does that work? And did it hurt when they did it? Oh my gosh. I can't let that. I can just like picture like the crunching and the popping of all the things and I don't know. Don't like it. Yeah, a lot of people swear by chiropractors. A lot of people take their babies to chiropractors when they don't sleep well, and then it like helps them sleep better somehow. I don't understand that. You felt zero pain, that's good. Oh, you're gonna be paralyzed. That's good, they took care of you.
Like were you having hip problems before? Or they just, you showed up because you twisted your lower back and then they're like, oh yeah, your hips need adjusting too. Or maybe that's why you twisted your lower back. I don't know. I am not a doctor. This color is so pretty, y'all. Oh my God, like. It has, I said it was like a pinkish, but it's kind of purpley. It's like teal and purpley and maybe some hints of pinkish. I like it. Like green, teal I don't know, a lot of colors. most of the glitter on the paper. <laughs> I'm the messiest crafter ever. I'm still having to tap this glitter down in this. Anytime I forget to do that, it's a sad, sad time. But yeah, like this baby Baby shaker is still full after glittering that whole tumbler. It's still full. Okay. Now I guess I'll do um blurple. And hopefully it stands out against that. I was gonna do blurple on the um like the outlines of these drips. I did the outlines there to make the wax look a little more 3D since it isn't actually the puffy drip stuff. Oh, the car accident. Yeah, I've heard like car accidents, you'll have trouble for like years down the road, even if you didn't feel anything went wrong in the accident. Blurple, yep, I'm doing blurple. pretty sure my back problems stem from when I was like 10 or 11 we were like my whole family like aunts uncles grandma grandpa cousins we all had a big house and we're staying at the beach and we had just come in from the ocean and we're all like rinsing our feet and stuff off um in like the carport area that was underneath the house and I came running around the corner and just slipped right in that puddle and landed right on my tailbone. And I could not walk for the rest of the time. It was not a good vacation for me. <laughs> it was so awful. And like, I never went to the doctor after that for anything. Like, you know, they just, here you go, here's some kids Tylenol and my grandma bought me a little inflatable, like the little donut floats. She bought me one of those to sit on. Like I was crawling to the bathroom when I had to go to the bathroom. Like it was awful. And then it eventually got better. But I think that is why I still have issues, like minor issues. I'm trying to decide now if I want to do all of the um, drip outlines in Blurple or do a slightly different color because it's going to run together right here. Right in this spot. Mm, I 
think it'll be okay. I'm just gonna go with it. I'm gonna do it anyway and see what happens. Yeah, no, that was not pleasant at all. It was not a good time. Nose is running. Stop it. I don't know why I felt like I needed to do that row and then go to the other row. Like I could have just done it together. Gonna be the same color. This part didn't cut all the way through for some reason. So this is fun. I got all the outlines. So blurple. Do I want to do blurple? Yes. Moment of truth. It's gonna work on that. stand out too much like I mean it's I mean it stands out more than that what it's showing in the camera but maybe once I get everything on there it'll be like just enough to make it look like it's you know kind of puffed up a little bit end up hating it I can go back over it with some twilight maybe if I should do lighter drips like it's supposed to be a dark oh god this would be a dark candle this is why I can't plan ahead because I'm terrible at making decisions and then I still change my mind in the middle of it even when I thought I had decided There's the outline of the drips. Can you see it? Not really. It's like just barely. Maybe it'll help give that 3D effect I was going for. I'll go back over it one more time too.
I really don't know if there's a person in the world messier than me. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I don't know guys. I don't know if I'm loving the blurple next to the Morticia's Rose. over it. Like, I kind of wanted it to be as, you know, realistic as possible without doing the actual drip. Hey, Jason. What's up? sparkle for the drips. I think what I should have done was blurple for the main drip part and sparkle for the outlines. Maybe. Keep moving forward. That's what I'm going to do. After this one, I need to do another version that's like a light color tumbler with a darker label. Keep sticking to my tweezers. Tricky part, getting it out from under the seam. If anybody has, uh, anyone who likes to overlap their um, tacky tape on the edges, if you have any better methods than just like pulling it out, let me know. Like I always pull it and then you know, it's tricky getting it out from under there, but also, like, I don't want to stretch the adhesive when I'm doing that. So it'll make it all lumpy, and I don't want it to be lumpy. Very serious operating procedure right now. Okay, I got it. Tap that back. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that one came out much better. Much easier. Probably because it was shorter. Alright, another moment of truth of whether I am going to ruin this with the color I picked for the wax strips. Come on, Sparkle. I have faith in you. Ooh, it's so pretty. I love the metallics. No, I like it. And the blurple shows up a lot better now, too. Okay, I'm not regretting my decision anymore. Not regretting my blurple decision. Oh, look how pretty. Like now you can see it a lot better. Yes. Okay. I'm happy again. I was... I was really doubting myself there for a moment, but um, I like it. I'll go. There's some spots around the edges. This, um, this color combo is making me happy now. I was worried there for a minute. I did not get this one little piece out of here. This white blob. Definitely feeling it now. All right, so now it's the letters. Hopefully, all of those cut. All right, like it was. This part was very intricate. Like all the tiny letters, and then there's like some little swirly things on there. table. So I always wipe the, like the excess glitter from the paper just like out into the floor and my 11 year old was up here one day what did she want to do I think she was oh she was doing some glitter pins and she put some medium glitter in one of the pins and I like showed her how to shake it out of the paper and put it back in the uh, glitter shaker and then I was like, okay, and then before you put some more glitter on, you need to like rake off the rest of the glitter. And she just looked at me like, you're putting glitter in the floor? You're just throwing the glitter in the floor? Like she was just, her mind was completely blown because I would not ever allow that in any other area of the house. <laughs> but she thoroughly enjoyed herself after she learned she could, uh, sweep excess glitter into the floor.
right, so now I'm doing Stonehenge, I think. For like all these little border pieces on the candle label and the letters. Of course, this doesn't want to pick this up. You can do it. very thin line here it's just about to brag on my machine about how well it cut these tiny pieces and then of course I'm trying to pull up this line and it didn't cut through in a couple of spots. It's my fault because I did not clean my blade before I started cutting. So I cut so many of these um, First, these double-sided adhesive first tumbl tumbler templates. Jesus, I can't talk. Um, I cut so many of them that my blade gets kind of sticky, plus cutting the adhesive vinyl. Um, so I just try to clean it every now and then. And I had cut a bunch of vinyl the other day and had not cleaned my blade. I don't clean it all the time, just when I know I'm about to work with something that has like an intricate design. Because I need my blade to not be acting up. Come on! I'm gonna get it. Alright. I'm going with this guy. Because it's only peeling up like the top layer of the backing. And I need the whole backing off, not just the top layer. Sorry if y'all are asking if y'all are talking because I'm in hyper focus mode. I'll tell you one thing, this little uh cricket tool thingy that I've acquired is pretty much my new best friend, aside from the Scotty Pillars. got it now. I think we got it. Wow, I gotta remember to not throw my little pieces of stuff on my glitter paper because then I forget about it and glitter my cup and then shake all the little pieces back into my glitter shaker. There we go. I went to glitter something the other day and there were all these little tiny paper bits <laughs> in the shaker. 
because I'm a whole hot mess. Like, well, that ain't right. Come on. Tweezers are getting sticky. Let me clean my tweezers. Glitter, not now. Hold on. Do it now. Now I think I can glitter. <sighs> okay, that was a, just the teeniest little line around the edge here. Just clean your blade. I guess I know I'm not ready to glitter yet because I've got to peel the rest of this stuff that I'm doing the same color. You know what? That just didn't cut on that side. Don't forget to clean your blade, guys, before you do intricate cuts. It looks like it cut the letters fine. Just this one side of the straight line, which makes zero sense. Unless it had something stuck to it. The blade, that is. Just improvising as we crafters often do. I wish you could change the speed setting. Like when you're cutting intricate designs with the Cricut, you can change the speed on the Cameos, but I don't think you can change the speed on a Cricut. If anybody knows how to do that, I'm all ears. If it could just like slow down a little bit, it'd be fantastic. Perfection. Careful of that thing, you can cut your finger off. Got him. Like, oh, this will be quick and easy. No, 
know why everything, I don't know why I ever think that any kind of craft is ever going to be quick and easy, like ever. It always ends up taking longer than I anticipated. Like every single time. was quick and easy. Just that one side. So, all right, now here is the fun part. These tiny letters and swirlies. Oh, that came off beautifully. Just beautifully. Oh, yeah, this is just doing fine. I'm about to speak too soon. on the finicky side now. I need like, I need to be ambidextrous right now. to the side in case I accidentally pulled off something that wasn't supposed to come off. Oh, no, I didn't. It's all still there. I just missed one to... Yeah, no, that little... Look, this is what I was worried about. That little swirly guy there. I was worried about that, and it did just fine. Just beautifully. Oh, man, I'm pretty getting hungry. I forgot to eat lunch before I started this. All right, one more swirly. That was my alarm to uh, go pick up my daughter from middle school, but she's homesick today, so I don't have to leave this early. She's feeling better. She was sick all day yesterday. She had some kind of a stomach bug. She seems to be doing a lot better today, so her little booty's going back to school tomorrow, I believe. Look! Look at that. No tearing. Everything came out. Did you see like a crop? Oh my god, look at it. We did it. Okay, I hope the letters do this. Please. Please. Doing it. So far, that S and that A. I was getting too excited too soon because now the inside of the D. No, it stayed. <sighs> okay. Just going slow. Slow and steady. I was worried about these letters, y'all. Perfect. Came off just perfectly. Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep talking about how perfect it is because it's gonna bite me in the booty. And the tiny numbers with the tiny date. 
Y'all can't see what I'm doing because I'm way over here. Wish I had my camera working. You would know why I wouldn't be able to do a live video from my MacBook Air with my stream cam connected. I tried two different browsers. So that wasn't the issue. Maybe I hadn't given my camera permission or something. I turned off like the pop-up blocker. Um, what else did I do? Restarted my computer because, you know, turn it off and turn it back on to see if that has anything to do with it. Almost losing the inside of the little E, but I'm just going to put it back. Yes. Did it. Then the inside of, like, the letters that say Black Flame, they have these little slits in them. I don't know if those are going to stay put. Those might be goners. Is anyone still here? I just feel weird just talking to myself. Start making up some songs. Cause I'm so hungry. You already know. Dang, like the little period after Candle Co. Can you see? Like, where it is? Where is it? There it is. Look. It didn't even get lost. The top part wasn't even lost. It was still there. And it just came off so nice. <sighs> I'm so happy. Oh my god, that little slit stayed there. Look. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm losing my mind. Can you see that on that F? Can you see the little slit that stayed there hey misty um this is actually on my website if you go to shantasworkshop.com and type in you just search for black flame and it should come up it is brand new i just made it yesterday and listed it last night at like one o'clock in the morning. And then I couldn't wait to work on it. But I will let you know ahead of time it is an intricate design. So make sure you clean your blade before you start cutting. Really, I haven't had that much issues. Even with my dirty, sticky blade. Okay, I'm getting confused. No! Look, that stayed there, and then I just accidentally pulled it off with my scissors. I want you to still be here. Alright, 
some of the little pieces are, some little slits in the letters are staying and some of them are not. Next one I do, I'm going to make sure I clean the blade. pulled off a piece of this letter. Maybe not. No, I did. Teeny little piece. I'm just gonna put it back. No big deal. Maybe. Rotate. There we go. Misty, you'll have to tag me if you make one of these. I like to see all the different color combinations. I really have like the hardest part of doing these honestly for me is trying to decide what colors I'm going to use and then even once I think that I have them picked out and I start I'm like oh, I don't know and then half the time I change my mind at the last minute anyway and then I didn't do that this time though I stuck with it and I'm glad I did And I'm just making sure I'm going slow on these letters and it's like, seems to be working so far. Stabby McStabberson here. This is, um, if you go to shantasworkshop.com, um, you can just search for Black Flame and it should come up. This one is for the 32 ounce plump from the Steel Magnolia and then there's one that's resizable for most of the other straight tumblers. But this one has its own uh, listing because it's so tall and you get more room at the bottom. I don't even know if my sentence I just said made any sense. Tumblr is tall. Did really well like I don't know why I had such an issue on that one side well I mean I guess it was because my blade was sticky and not doing its job but all those little intricate pieces did just fine I think I lost one yeah I lost one little uh, thingy one one little thingy I don't know what I was calling it one little line on that M but it looks 
good. All right, so um, I'm gonna do all the letters and accent pieces on here in Stonehenge. And look, there's a little piece of paper I flicked in there. So, Stonehenge, I feel like this is very um, underappreciated. I don't really know what color it is. It's not really brown. It's not, it's definitely not gray. It's like a grayish. It's like the color of my bedroom walls. I think. Maybe the, no, my bedroom walls are more gray. It's like a copper, gray, brown. I don't know, but it's so pretty. I love all of the metallics. paper mess down here. Alright, so I'm just going to wipe this up and then I still have like, looks like a little piece that I missed in that border that laid back down maybe. I don't know what it did. I'm just gonna go over it one more time. I thought that would give it like a nice vintage -y font kind of look. We didn't really want to go solid black. little stubborn side being stubborn all right now I just have to do my light color I'm doing vanilla wafer it's the pastel yellow but when you do just one single layer on a white base it is very, very pale, so I figured that would look like kind of a, like an off-white color. You know how like, like a discolored white, like an old label, parchment paper kind of vibe? I don't really know. I thought it would be a good idea, so hopefully it is. We're about to find out, although like solid white looks good on there too. thing I really love about doing these on the um, tacky tape or like any double-sided adhesive is that I don't have to wait for any glue to dry like when I'm done with this I'm just gonna take it outside and seal it that has to dry then I can epoxy I don't have to wait for my adhesive to dry at all pull the rest of the paper up. I want to make, I don't want any of this in the light color though. So I have to be careful where I'm sweeping. I 
gosh, that little borderline. It was a pain, but it was worth it because it's just so, that thin little line, it just gives it a little more detail. It's worth it, worth the pain and suffering. even have to be careful right now because everything is just it's glitter and it's stuck I'm not worried about it going anywhere just need to peel off the rest of the paper I do want to be careful with my tweezers though and like not scrape it when I'm trying to get these little pieces try not to touch all over the sticky Amanda, I use just some clear gloss spray. Usually I use Rust-Oleum, but they were out the last time I went to the store. So I bought the Color Shot one, which, and I like that one too a lot. I actually probably like it better than the Rust-Oleum that I've been using for all these years. And then I'll just spray it really well one time, let all that dry for maybe an hour if i don't get sidetracked try to let it dry for an hour and then epoxy yeah see this is what my cricut blade was doing because it's been cutting on it so it's all sticky and now my tweezers are sticky but that is why it was important that i played my blade hard to tell what I've gotten off of here and what I've not gotten off of the cup. It's so tiny. It's really hard to not rest my hand on this. I don't want my oils to transfer to the adhesive. It's almost done, y'all. Stuff is dying.
so teeny. Really, the only way to tell what pieces I've gotten is to kind of hold it because the adhesive reflects in my light. So I have to kind of like move it around and see what's shiny and what's not. And if it's not shiny, that means it needs to leave. Because you're not shiny. Is still so happy about that period being there. It's just holding its own, doing its job. Tell if I got it. Okay. So I have all the backing off, I think. We'll find out when I glitter, when I add the glitter. Here it goes. Sweep this off because I don't want to have dark specks in my pastel. Although I've got dark glitter all over the place. Where's my vacuum? on the site anymore but this thing is the bees knees this is like how all of my glitter gets contaminated don't want it Vanilla wafer, the final and only light color for the rest of the label. Yes. Yes. It's so beautiful. Oh, yep, I did. I missed a spot right there. Like, I like how the vanilla wafer looks just kind of like a, like a discolored white, I guess. 
when it's on that just single layer white base against the Stonehenge color. Just gives it that like vintage vibe I was going for. I'm just brushing off the excess into this bag of trash here. Yep, pretty, pretty, pretty happy with this. And then it goes all the way around. No seam in the back. I'll do spray adhesive on the bottom and I just use the Elmer's all-purpose or multi-purpose, whatever it's called. It looks like a an Elmer's glue bottle except it's in a spray can. And I'll spray that and do some Morticia's Rose. I can actually, I'll do that right now. I'll do it right now. I love it. Do y'all love it? What do we think about the drips? Do we like the drips? I like the drips. I think it would also work as just a like just having the template with the label and then you could epoxy it and do epoxy drips if you prefer those. And I've got no dark specks in my glitter. It's been a good day. Good crafting, good successful crafting time. somewhere. Thanks, Sherry. You've got to let me know if you try one of these. I think there is a discount code for um, the glitter guy. I'm pretty sure it's TGG 20 off and you get 20% off. But I'll double check and put that in the comments. So I'm just going to spray this butt real quick and um, I like to dip it in the glitter. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour that out. And I'm going to hold this over that Amazon box in the corner. First, I'm going to make sure all these little lumpies are down. So I sprayed it with the spray adhesive and now I'm just dipping it but that gets the edges really well. Get that little bottom. And there it is. Like that spray adhesive will be dry by the time I get it downstairs. <laughs> it dries so fast. Any questions? Is anybody still here? Get a few people. Oh. I am happy with the blurple. The blurple edges. It's like it gave it just the right amount of depth, I think. I keep wanting to touch the bottom. The bottom's already glittered. Yay. So yeah, I'll post in the comments um, what the actual discount code is for 
the glitter guy because I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's TGG 20 off. Um, but yeah. Thanks for hanging out, y'all. And let me know. I want to see if you guys try it. Tag me and all that jazz. So I love seeing um, like the colors that everybody picks out and just everyone else's different takes on it. Like I am so happy that those little slits in the letters worked out. So happy. All right, y'all. Have a good afternoon. Bye.